So all of the data in the world is not really any use to you unless you can visualize it and ultimately interpret it. So in this section, we're going to focus on building the standard plots, the standard data visualizations you'd expect to see in any structural analysis software. So we're also going to make use of widgets, uh, which allow our plots to be easily adjustable with simple user interface elements. Now, veterans of degree tutors courses will be very familiar with this approach. Much of the code in each lecture is going to be unavoidably repetitive, I'm afraid. That's just the nature of what we're doing in this section. But I'll try and keep things moving as quickly as possible by copying and pasting in code that we've already written previously. The first visualization that we're going to tackle is the deflected shape. We're going to follow this up with an axial force heat map uh, that also has the option of printing the support reactions to screen as well on the same on the same image. Next, we'll tackle the big one, and that's the 3D bending moment diagram. Now, this isn't actually too difficult to implement, um, but we're going to split it up over two lectures anyway, just to make it a little bit a little bit easier to digest. After the bending moment diagram, uh, we'll implement the shear force diagram, which thankfully is, is pretty much just a repeat of the bending moment diagram. So we're going to get through that pretty snappy, pretty quickly. Uh, and that completes all of the data viz that we need to do inside of our notebook. Now, the next thing that we want to implement is a detailed element by element text output. So this will put all of the data at our fingertips if we really want to go and take a sort of a deep dive and look at exactly what's happening at different elements in our structure. And um, if we can't make out what's happening from our visualizations, for example, and we want to just basically go through the text output to see what's happening. So we'll implement that inside the notebook as well. Next, we'll write some code to export our model deflections uh, to CSV file, and then we're going to jump over to Blender and write a little script there that pulls those deflections in so that we can visualize the deflections on a geometrically accurate structural model that doesn't suffer from the distortions present in a matplotlib plot. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get to it. So at this point, we have a fully functioning solver and a complete workflow that starts from building models inside of Blender exporting them over to our notebook and uh, and basically processing them inside of our notebook and then optionally sending our deflections back over to blender so we as i say we've got a complete workflow now that we can use to model 3d structural frames in the next sections of the course what we're going to do is focus on enhancing the usability uh, and implementing features uh, within our code that make it a much more versatile and valuable analysis tool